Amigos, ¿cómo estás? Right now, the most sensational news is Microsoft has just made the virtual entities of Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations be consumable as Copilot Studio Knowledge Sources. Hmm, but what does this mean? It means when you have made any FNO data entity be available as a virtual entity, as a visible virtual entity to be precise in Dataverse, it means it could be directly added as a knowledge source in Copilot agent, enabling you to chat with your FNO data without doing any customization. You can do it directly upright and downright. Not sure what I'm saying? Here you go, yo. Ensure uh, that you have created your app registrations and you have noted your certification keys beforehand because once they have been created, you won't be able to see it again. And I also have made the API permissions. Uh, so I have allowed, I have delegated rather, uh, Dynamics ERP and I have granted access. So uh, once this is done, I have also uh, come back to my Dynamics FNO under my Microsoft Infra ID applications. I have registered this. Uh, this application ID, which is my client ID, I have given the name and I have allocated this to this user admin and also uh, this user, the user that is admin, which is currently uh, the one who is using this uh, infra ID, the registration app registration. So if I click on this user and if I get inside, so I'll be seeing there is one rule which I have purposely kept it here. Apart from system administration, yeah, you have to allow this rule, you have to assign this rule, otherwise this user won't be able to choose or select, uh, you know, the virtual entities uh, in Dataverse. So once this is done, you are all good to go. We are going to move on the next steps. And uh, let us move on to uh, App Source. And in my App Source, I am going to search for virtual entities and we'll see a number of uh, you know similar apps available so we are going to go for this finance and operations virtual entity so if i select get it now i would get a prompt like this but it is, it is confirming the user id my my user id with which i have logged on and if i say got it, get it now so it, it will take a while to take me to the environment details the it will allow me to select the environment to which I'm going to apply this. So uh, typically this is going to go to the Power Apps, Power Portal Admin Center. In the Power Portal Admin Center, I will select the necessary, uh, you know, environment where I like to apply this. So as I've already applied, I am not going to uh, apply this again. And so what I'm all I need to do is that I'm going to select this sandbox trial and in my sandbox trial I will uh, I need to agree uh, to the terms and conditions and install it so that's going to make it get it installed and it's going to take a while to get it installed and once this is installed you would be able to see it under make.powerapps.com my make.powerapps.com uh, if I go to solutions and I select all, all my solutions, I'll be able to source this newly installed uh, virtual entities and it will show me, uh, I'm going to display name, let it, let it come, let it be filtered and this is where my Dynamics uh, 365 virtual entities is located. My Power Portal Admin Center so if I go to my sandbox trial, uh, which is basically my environment URL. So if I click on this environment URL, it will take me to the details of all the modules that are applied. Uh, and I would be, I need to select uh, our platform environment settings uh, out from there. So my power platform environment settings is right here. So let it get loaded. It will take a while to get loaded. And what I will do is that I will select down right out here inside my administration, inside my left hand, uh, you know, left hand uh, 
panel I'd be able to see my administration. So if I click click on this administration, I'd be able to see my virtual NTD data sources right out here. And if I click on this virtual NTD data sources, I'd be able to select, I'd be able to set all the details of the virtual entity. So this is the most important step of the entire exercise where I need to select my finance and operations out here. So if I select my finance and operations, I can provide the name of the of the, my finance and operations and target URL, which is nothing but the base URL of my Dynamics FNO. Authentication URL is the standard URL from login.windows.net, which is always the same for any kind of Microsoft based uh, authentication. Tenant ID is the one which we have created uh, previously before this exercise. And uh, application ID is the client ID, which we have or we can get down from the app registration uh, which we created. Secret is also the is available we have copied it down while creating it the rest all other stuffs you can keep it as it is because these are you know, the microservice details this resource is nothing but the microservice for this uh, you know uh, virtual entity exercise and this is uh, the managed solution name is this and the managed prefix name is this you can also keep it as it is without disturbing so you need to save and close and yeah you are all ready to go so let me click on this uh, funnel this uh, filter option which is going to allow me to select the virtual entities uh, to uh, make them visible to make them enable to be used so uh, yeah it's uh, going to take a while to uh, you know get loaded so yeah this pop-up came out so i in my advanced find i'm going to select um I'm going to look for the available finance and operation entities and let me click on select from this let me filter by the name and instead of equals let me select contains and let me give a name like you know cust customers so if I click on results, so you know the cust customer uh, v3, cust customer v2, like these kind of entities are there from Dynamics FNO. And say for example, this is their cust customer v3 entity, cust customer v2 entities uh, is there. So if I select on this, it's going to load again, whereby I can select uh, the, or rather I can set the various attributes of this entity so i can make it visible as yes and refresh as yes so if you enable this so this will make the users select this virtual entities in dataverse this if you make it visible as yes and if you make it refresh as yes so as a result it will keep on auto refreshing and so whatever changes you are doing in Dynamics 65 it will trickle down to uh, database so with that we can save and close and this will again take a lot of validation to get it completed you see uh, my cust customer v2 entry the visible is shown as yes so uh, what i will do is that i will show you what does this actually mean in dataverse and now come to my make.powerapps.com and select my environment and if i come to the tables and if i select all tables and uh, let me quickly filter for customers so you know uh, it will show me all the tables that are all the entities that are associated with my uh, power apps dataverse and you know this did this is the one we just have made it enabled so that's why it's coming out here customer v2 and customer v3 and i previously have enabled a few other entities as well so typically what happens is you can you can find a lot of uh, entities from dynamics 65 which is close to 2000 over 2000 uh, entities uh, which are made available uh, from microsoft as out of box and you can easily identify them uh, with the names as you know uh, if i search by msdrp so you see all these are basically part of 
virtual entities that are available uh, out of box. And let me come back to my Copilot Studio and I'm going to go for Copilot for Finance and Operations apps. So uh, this will take me to the uh, list of you know various uh, topics which are available say for example these are the out of box topics so let it load it and these are the out of box topics which are, were there when this copilot uh, you know uh, agent was enabled or installed rather i have not created anything as of yet uh, all these are out of box excepting a small example i created but let me go over to knowledge and let me show you like you know these are the knowledge uh, sources which are nothing but the virtual entities which i have created which i have added so uh, i can keep on adding more knowledge to it say so for example if i click on add knowledge it will show me the list of sources, probable sources from where I can, uh, you know, bring the knowledge from. So these are the most featured, most famous, um, you know, knowledge sources. So for example, I can use a public websites, I can use SharePoint, I can use Dataverse Preview, which we will use in our demo here. And apart from that, we can also have other uh, stuff like, you know, Azure AI Search, we can make use of Azure SQL. There's so many things uh, already uh, Microsoft is introducing. Uh, so I'm coming to uh, here as featured and I'm selecting Dataverse Preview. So this will show me the list of all the Dataverse tables that are available. So uh, what I will do is that I will search from here and let me find my vendors or, you know, so vendors is there, so which we have already added. Let me select for the customers. And if I select customers, you know, customers V2 um, is the one which I just have added this. So if I select this and, you know, uh, if I select next, it will be added to my um, Dynamics 365 uh, co-pilot for finance and operation agents. So if I select on next, so this will show me the list of the, you know, the records which are available, the, the list of the customers which are available so if i click on next and if i add this back it will enable this uh, knowledge source as uh, as an available knowledge for copilot uh, agent yes it's ready so my customers have just got added and i can publish this right away so it's going to take a while to get it published so you need to wait and this publish, getting it published, is going to um, let you make use of it in your Copilot for finance and operations. Uh, and you can chat with the data uh, directly without doing any kind of further customizations or any kind of further you know, settings or any kind of changes. Back in my Dynamics uh, finance and operations, I'm Going to launch my copilot sidecar and let me ask a question like this you know uh, can you tell me how many customers are there with the customer group 90 so if i ask this it's going to query the knowledge article the knowledge source which i just added it and uh, let us see what it replies and the answer was right like it answered like there are three customers in the customer group night you can keep on asking for the question uh, for example if i ask it like can you give me the details of a customer and it will again Take the help of the knowledge source which we added and it's going to give you the results of this uh, customer and yeah see it is replying the details for the customer with account number this are available and the account is confirmed as de001 so and it's also giving a uh, you know the reference from which it has got this so if i click on this it will take me to the knowledge article which we have published here and uh, you know the it has also to additionally it has provided some 
uh, more references so if you click on this it will uh, give me more details to it so uh, you know this is how you can make use of knowledge uh, articles directly by making use of the virtual entities and uh, making them available with copilot to make the copilot query it and retrieve the data from it let me conclude the session for today and please try this and let me know how it goes and uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do so signing off much love subhashish